Okay, so you've got your umbrella rig, your Alabama rig, your umbrella rig, whichever one you've bought. Um, it's come in, and it's come in like this, where the um, all the arms are straight. So, what do you need to do at this point? Well, what you need to do is you need to find a center wire that's going to be your straight wire, and then you need to bend the other four wires at four opposite directions, just like this. So now you have what looks like, you would think it would look like, the uh, Alabama rig or umbrella rig or umbrella rig. Um, and all you've got to do now is put your jig heads on there. I recommend using a lighter jig head just because you're going to have five on there. So this thing is going to get pretty heavy pretty quick. So now you just take your jig heads, which quarter ounce jig heads, or I'm sorry, swim bait heads is what you're going to be using. And the quarter ounce is probably the best bet because, um, like I said, you're going to have five on there. You're going to be putting your young money minnow or your paddle tail swim baits, whatever you're going to use. Um, you just rig these on each one of the swivels. Okay, so now all the jig heads or swim bait heads are on. Um, you're ready for your paddle tail swim baits, which, you know, really pearl is, is a hard to beat color. It's going to work in any type of water situation. And there you have it. That's how you rig up your Alabama rig or whatever rig you're using, umbrella rig. And um, be sure to use a heavy braided line, a good polymer knot. And it's probably best to put your knot, put this thing on and tie the knot before you rig all this up because that's a lot to get your line around. But um, there you have it. Hottest rig in bass fishing right now. So uh, hope this helped. And if you don't have a rig or would like to get one, you can visit my blog page at bassfishingnc.blogspot.com.